Hey Top Teners, I'm your host Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Make sure you're following the BTS team on social media. All of our links are down below. And stick around until the end to join me as I handpick some of your comments and respond to them. As for today's list, we are talking about relationships. We all know that celebrity couples are always in the spotlight, whether they're together or they're not together. We always want to stay in the loop, you know? Give us that gossip, spill that tea. There are some couples that we want to get back together and then some that we feel like they probably should. Shouldn't. Let's see who some of these couples are with today's list of top 10 shocking celebrity couples that got back together. Starting off our list at number 10 is Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik. Everything was confirmed for suspecting fans when the two of them confirmed their relationship back in January 2016. They confirmed it in a pretty epic way too. Zayn dropped the music video for his single called Pillow Talk, which featured Gigi and him getting pretty intimate all throughout. Plus their Twitter exchange with each other about the video was also totally adorable, where they were gushing about how hot the other person looked in the video. But hearts were shattered over two years later when they publicly announced their split in March 2018. They both wrote these heartfelt statements expressing that they still love and respect each other as friends. But a month later, they got back together and continued to date until this year. In January 2019, they called it quits again for what seemed to be for good this time. But once again, they got back together. It's like a serious case of Ross and Rachel going on. But recently, just this month, reports were being made that it was done for good and Gigi was even spotted spending alone time with bachelorettes along Tyler Cameron. I'm not totally sold yet that this breakup is for good, so let's give it some more time before they are back together for a third time. And at number nine is Halsey and GEZ. They started dating back in the summer of 2017 and continued to date for the year to follow. They were a super adorable couple, tearing up the music scene together, and Halsey gushed about it at the iHeartRadio Awards, saying, I quote, We're co workers, you know? We both do this at a pretty high level, and it's really dope to get to share that kind of experience with the person you're actually dating. Fans went crazy after they collaborated and released their hit track called Him and I. It felt like an obvious heartwarming tribute to their love for each other, but not long after the release, they announced their split from each other. Halsey typed up a post and shared it on her Instagram story, saying, I normally keep this kind of thing private, but provided our public nature, I feel the need to inform my fans. GEZ and I are taking some time apart. I wish him the best. Fans were crushed as they spent the next few months doing their own thing. But out of the blue, just a few Few months later, they were spotted holding hands at the VMAs after party. Obviously, rumors were starting that they were back together, and it was pretty much confirmed later when they kissed on stage at his concert in August 2018. It was then reported that they were, I quote, working on their relationship. However, the working didn't really work though because they are no longer together. So, I mean, the number eight spot is Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Thank God this one has a happy ending, you guys, because I love them together. I didn't even know they broke up, if I'm being honest. Apparently, it was back in March. March 2011 that they split after dating for four years. Thankfully, the breakup was a quick one. Of course, fans didn't know that it was going to be a quick one, so they were all crushed, but they got back together in August. Maybe the break was just what they needed because they got engaged in December 2011, just a few months after reconciling. He gushed about it saying, she is the single-handedly most significant person in my life. He proposed to her on their annual trip to Montana and they got married in 2012 in Italy. They had their first baby together in April 2015 a little boy, and in 2018, Jessica admitted that they would love to keep expanding their little family. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Up next at number seven is Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. I know the latest gossip is all about how they are now divorced after pictures of Miley kissing another girl came forward, but let's put that all aside and talk about their past 10 year relationship. That's right, 10 years. They met each other back in 2009 while working on the movie The Last Song together. Miley was just 17 years old at the time, and Liam was 20. The pair began dating and fans thought that they were going to be like high school sweethearts type thing. They had some on and off issues with rumors and stuff, but in June 2012, they got engaged. We watched Miley talk all about her wedding plans on The Ellen Show, and fans had their hopes that this was going to be a happy ending. However, they ended up splitting in 2013, which is when the whole wrecking ball era began. From there, Miley was seen twerking, singing about drugs, doing drugs, and dating different people, both men and women. After years apart, the world didn't think there would ever 
never be a chance of them getting back together. But in 2016, they confirmed it after Miley had her engagement ring back on. I honestly thought that they would never get back together, especially after so much time apart. But if you've been on the internet, you know that yes, they got married and it only lasted eight months and now they are sadly separated. And I don't think there will be another reunion after this, but hey, never say never. In spot number six is Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard, another couple that needed to get back together because they are just too damn precious. They are one of Hollywood's favorite couples and have been ever since they started dating back in 2007. They got married back in 2013 and now after 12 years of being together, they are still happily married with two beautiful daughters. But apparently the beginning of the relationship had some issues and they actually split for some time. Kristen still enjoys telling the story of how Dax ended things with her and doesn't really let him forget it. She tells the story saying, he sat me down and said, I can't have this right now. I think you're wonderful, but I am still dating other people. But thankfully it didn't take long for him to realize that he made the biggest mistake of his life and they got back together. Halfway through the list at number five is Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. This couple has made headlines on multiple occasions and for all the wrong reasons. They started dating back in 2012 and lasted a year until their split made headlines in 2013 when Emma was arrested for allegedly attacking Peters. Like physically attacking him. Clearly it was probably for the best that the two of them separated, which is why it was so surprising when they reconciled and got engaged a year later. And ever since 2014, the relationship has been a hot mess of being together, breaking up, then getting back together. The most recent update we have came this year in March 2019 after they called off their engagement. After seven years of being on and off, they called off their wedding and rumors swirled that Emma was spotted kissing another man outside of a restaurant. That is the latest update I have for you and as of now, they are not back together. But with their track record, you never know. Here we are at number four with Pink and Carrie Hart. This love story starts way back in 2001 and has been one that I have personally followed and invested my emotions into. They dated for four years before Pink proposed to the BMX biker at the Pro 150 class finals. Yes, you heard that right. Pink proposed to him. They got married in 2006 and just two years into the marriage, they announced their split. Pink made a statement saying, the most important thing for all of you to know is that Carrie and I love each other so, so much. This breakup is not about cheating, anger, or fighting. I know it sounds like a cliche bullshit, but we are best friends and we will continue to be. We could never forget when he appeared in her music video for their breakup anthem called So What. I can't even imagine having any of my exes chilling with me in my post breakup music video. That's just weird. But the world was made whole again when they shocked everyone after reconciling one year later and announced that they were back together. They now have two beautiful children together and they are a prime example that you can break up with someone and then come back even stronger. All right guys, at number three is Bella Hadid and The Weeknd. The two of them got together back in 2015 after spending a weekend together with friends at the one and only Coachella. They dated for over a year, but reports started surfacing that they split in November 2016. Articles were saying that schedules were to blame and that they were both focusing on their work. Just two weeks later, the two of them had that iconic moment where they reunited on stage at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She was making her Victoria's Secret debut and he just so happened to be the onstage performer of the show. So he was standing in the middle of the stage as she walked down the runway and literally walked directly past him. I mean, if I'm reuniting with an ex after two weeks of our split, I'd like to be looking like a 10 in some lingerie on the biggest fashion show in the world. But then in January of 2017, we saw pictures of Selena Gomez and The Weeknd making out and the two of them began dating next. Bella started to shoot the middle finger at any media cameras when they asked her about the new couple, but the anger turned back into love and fans were shocked after seeing images surface of The Weeknd leaving Bella's apartment in New York City in November 2017. The two of them got back together and seemed to be making it work. However, just a few weeks ago, sources stated that they called it quits again. So I really don't know at this point. In spot number two is Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. They briefly dated back in 2015 and things ended on a sour note. We only know this because Haley spoke about it and told the Times, I quote, we went through a long period of time when we were not friends. The relationship made headlines after pictures surfaced of them on some tropical vacation together, getting all kinds of cozy. They were together until more more headlines came out in August 2016 saying that Justin unfollowed her on social media because he had issues with her friendship with Drake. And not long after that, he started dating Sophia Richie, which left Haley devastated. And apparently that is when the two of them were not friends or on speaking terms for two years. But after two years of silence, they were spotted together in June 2018. Fans were both thrilled and shocked to see them back together, but they were more 
surprise when the pair announced their engagement just one month after getting back together. They now reside in Ontario, Canada, where Justin is originally from, and they live happily engaged. Rumor has it that the wedding plans are now in the talks. Taking our number one spot is Prince William and Kate Middleton, because there is no way I could not have royalty in our number one spot. Also, I can't not acknowledge the fact that our prince and princess once broke up. They completely stole the world's hearts when they had their over the top wedding, which is why it was surprising to hear that they even had a rough patch in this whole beautiful fairy tale. They started dating back in 2003 when they both went to the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. They dated until 2007 and refused to comment about it, but a biography later claimed that it was a mix of media attention, their busy schedules, and Will partying with other women. Later down the road, Will, am I allowed to call him that, told the UK Press Association, we both were very young. We were sort of both finding ourselves as such and being different characters and stuff. But after some time apart, they eventually reunited in June 2010 and were engaged later that year. And the rest is pretty much history. Like, literally. Well, there you have it. That is our list for today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it and tell me why down in the comments. For now, let's finish off this video the best way I know how with some comment shout outs. Birdwell2427 says, I don't have a celebrity crush. Okay, fine. I am crushing on Chris Evans. Aren't we all? Pizza the Hut says, would you ever date a fan? Honestly, I feel like I'm not cool enough to even have fans. So yes, of course, to me, we are all just people, but don't get any ideas. Tammy Webb says, Jim Carrey is my one and only celebrity crush. He is also my favorite actor of all time. I love Jim Carrey. I wouldn't say like he's like my celebrity crush, like, like Zac Efron, but I do like his movies. Dennis O'Brien says, my celebrity crush is Jocelyn Bedard. I bet I'm not the only one either. Well, there is no celebrity here named Jocelyn Bedard, so I don't even know who that is. Never heard of her. Well, that's all I got for today. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things before you go. And if you wanna keep watching more beyond the screen videos, just click the icon. It will appear right over here as I stop talking. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.